All right, guys, what is up? Here we are today with the continuation of the speed-based challenges. Here we are today with the flash challenge. Every unit is fastest. There's no infantry that's fastest, so unfortunately we are going to be a war factory and air tower deck. So our deck is going to suck. Um, we could play Seth to make the deck a lot better, but then we wouldn't go as fast as if we play Oxana. So obviously we have to play Oxana. The only options available to me outside of these six is laser drones. So I could play laser drone instead of shade. That's pretty much the only option. Everything else is slower. Uh, unfortunately, Chuggy is only fast. Can't play that. Venom is only faster. Can't play that. So it's going to have to be these six. Now, this deck is going to be not great because every single unit in the deck is bad versus lasers or like medium versus lasers at best. Like, Buggy and Catship are both not that great versus lasers. They'll win 1v1, but they are a little bit too expensive. Uh, wheels are faster, can't play wheels. So yeah, the, the, the issue is going to be just we're kind of weak to the missiles and lasers, which is in almost every single deck. But we'll see how it goes. I think we're going to open laser drones against Nod. Oh wait, we switched to Shade. Alright, never mind. We're going to open bikes, I guess. Yeah, I'm not a fan of decks like this, to be honest. Also, like, a laser drone rush is going to be really hard to beat. We have to use bikes and buggies to defeat that. Um, pit bulls are going to be hard to beat because we have to use stealth tanks to fight them. It's just not It's not a great deck all round. So, for some reason, this guy has a militant just standing, like, next to the pad. I don't really understand why. I'm going to farm these militants. I guess we'll make another buggy because he's about to try and 2v1 me. Alright, we'll let him shoot the bikes, because I need the buggies to live. Alright, cool. Nice, wow, two buggies shreds missiles super hard. Maybe this is the solution. I don't really want to make anything, because I need to be ready to counter a vehicle that comes out. I guess I need one more buggy. Alright, so we're going to get first missile pretty easily. He's probably double harvest, so that's why he's not really doing anything. Man, the extra buggy firepower makes such a big difference in this matchup. Look at that. They just never get it. They don't even get shots off, really. Yeah, he has double half, unsurprisingly. We'll open up the air tower and wait and see what he does. Cyborg. Actually, I guess we have these cat ships. Cat ships are pretty good against uh, most infantry. Cyborg cat ship is actually kind of bad against. So, yeah, Cyborg is going to be a big problem. If one comes out. Oh, an avatar. Okay. I'm not overly surprised to see an avatar. I'm not too fast either, honestly. Like, it's, it's obviously a scary unit, but I do have shades, so it's not like I can just never beat an avatar. There's a Widowmaker, also dies to shades, so I guess we're just shade spamming. Alright, see you later, avatar. GG, I guess. Go over here in case the buggy dies. Yep, it did. Nice jade missile. Excellent. Good job. 1 0, boys. Okay, so of course every game is on battlefield in this event. Um, one of the big issues with this deck is because it takes so long to get our first unit out, we can't start charging the missile very early on. Which means that we are just weak to tech because it takes us until like, I mean like, look, look how long it takes to get to the pad. When do we get to the pad? Like 17 seconds? It's just so slow getting to the pad. Which means there's just a, a default amount of stalling that happens. Alright, I'm actually going to eat the first missile shot with my bike, so the buggy wins by even more. I'm going to try and do the same up here. Alright, now he started shooting the buggy. We'll have the, we'll have the bike's fire support. They're not doing anything else with their time. Bikes should beat the rhino, no problem. Guess we'll grab another buggy. Not sure what his missiles are doing, I don't know why he isn't just shooting the buggy. I guess we're buggy spamming. Alright, that was an easy missile. Go get the harvester if I can. Guy needs to stop moving so much. He's taking a lot of damage trying to move around my buggies. I guess I'll make a stealth tank. I don't really know to be honest. Maybe it'd been better to save my money for, uh, for air tower units, I'm not sure. Oh, 
I want to keep this missile charging as much as possible. See what he does next, I guess. Orca. Alright. I mean, that's pretty good against me, I suppose. I have a Phantom, though. I guess we'll use the Oxana boost. Get that real fast movement. Oh, yeah, look at that. GG. See you later, buddy. Okay. Having to go Harvester first also sucks because it makes us weaker to rushes. Like, we have to go Harvester and we have to open War Factory because that's the only options. Which means that, like, a laser drone rush is kind of a problem or a bike rush. These are things that could be issues. Right, opponent has opened wheels. That's a good. That's good for us. Assuming he doesn't have a tank. If he has a tank, then he obviously will beat us in the bike mirror by using a tank. I need to save up money so I can go shade in case he does go tank. Yeah, there's a tank. That's awkward. I guess we can just keep spamming bikes for now. Oh, need to get the block. Oh, I missed the block. That's really bad. Yeah, I, I messed up this missile pretty badly. Like I said, I couldn't beat the tank. Like, tank is too strong in the early game War Factory Mirror. It just beats up on bikes. And we don't have lasers, so we have to go shade to fight it. So he's probably going to make lasers, yeah, and then we have to use like Catalyst, Gunship, and Buggy. We can't really use Buggy that well against tanks either, so we kind of have to use Catalyst, Gunship, which is just a very bad unit. Oh, he walked into the Catalyst, Gunship explosion, that's pretty cool. Mm, stealth Tank, hate to see that. Oh, I need to build a Catalyst Gunship and I built a Shade by accident. Uh-oh. That's very bad. I guess we're making a buggy then. Yeah, we're in trouble now. I'm gonna boost this buggy and hope. Go on, boosted buggy. You can do it. Yes, boosted buggy plus Shade OP. Nice, that EMP was actually a really big deal there. Man, Catship is just not a very good unit. Maybe I'm better off just using buggies, I don't know. Alright, I think we just need to hold this top hand. Uh, let's get a stank, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't feel great. <laughs> Doesn't feel great. Get the stank on the pad. Oh, wow, we fired the missile. Okay, I thought those shades were going to die, but apparently we got them. Good job. Mission accomplished. Okay, Dr. Death. Scary name. Nothing on the pads yet. Not sure if that's a good sign or not. A laser, that sucks. I hate to see laser first. The number of people who have made a laser and then parked it off, just off the pad. It, like This is like the third guy out of four who has done this, where he's like made a missile or laser and then just parked it one off the pad. Very strange experience for me. Alright, laser drones, so we make buggy. We just spam buggies for a bit. Of 
unfortunately, I think buggies are not overly efficient against laser drones. Like, they win, but they cost 10 more, so they're pretty, pretty bad overall. Yeah, you can see, like, it's just not going that great, honestly. We're gonna need to mix some bikes in, I suppose. That's not working out either. I don't even know if I can beat laser drones with this deck. Nod War Factory just doesn't beat laser drone, really. I have to go Phantom, but that's obviously really expensive. So I guess we're just gonna chill for a bit. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna lose the missile because we just can't beat laser drones with Nod War Factory, effectively. Oh, the bug again as well, we missed. Uh, we're actually not, we're gonna lose, oh wow, we won the missile, oh my god. Good job Team Buggy, I guess, and bikes. But yeah, I don't know how far behind we are in Tiberium right now, but I'm guessing it's quite a lot, because his units are so cheap and mine, are, mine cost 10 more each time, and I don't think we're even getting one-for-one -one trades. Yeah, we're gonna need to go Phantom. Oh, Kem's going for my base, of course, why not? Why not? He lost the first missile, but, you know, sure. I'm just gonna let him blow it up. Gonna ignore him. Yep, you got it, Chief. Sure thing. Stealth tank? Uh-oh. I hate to see that. Oh man, the shade actually died. That's so bad. All right, I think we're gonna be okay because we're gonna. He has all these. He has these like one-man bike squads right at the end of the missile. So I think we should be good. Cap missile is OP as always. Pretty standard OP cat missile there, doing absolutely nothing. Alright, cool, I guess. Good job, team. Objective complete. Sub blitz. Alright, well. Another Jade player. We'll go bikes first. I don't think we've gone bikes into a wheel opening yet, which is kind of surprising. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Scarabs. I mean, I don't have a 20 cost unit, so Scarabs... I don't have a 20 or 10 cost unit, so Scarabs are actually kind of annoying. So I need to be careful not to let Scarabs get set up at any point. I mean, obviously, like, set up on pads, I don't really care if this Scarab AFKing over there. I'm guessing this guy has two harvesters, but I don't know for sure. Oops, almost suicided my bikes into the Scarabs there. I guess I could send this damaged buggy at them. Yeah, I probably should. These two buggies should beat this bike, I'm pretty sure. They're not going to beat the next one, though. But it should hold long enough to fire the missile, at least. Alright, cool. Let's uh, send the buggy at these scarabs as well. Oh man, these scarabs. If these scarabs get set up, it's actually a huge issue. Well, that's annoying. That's gonna cost me some money to get rid of. Well, I guess I can send this one-man bike in. I don't care about him. Yeah, there we go. I'll just lose this buggy as well. Get, get the scarabs out of the way while I can. I need to go shade, because obviously he's just making war factory stuff. I guess we could catch it. We haven't done much catch it yet today. Two lasers. I hate to see that. Alright, 
Oh, I missed it. I was trying to retarget. Oh, wow. Hat Missile, once again, being the best commander power in the game. Oh, shoot. Go, 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 go. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ah! Oh, yes, boys. Did you see that flip? See you later, mate. Easy claps. Let's go. You are victorious. Three, two, one. All right, here we go again. See if we can win with no infantry. All of our units have the hyper speed advantage. Maybe I should start opening buggy. Almost everyone I've played against has opened barracks. Well, oh, finally, a war factory player. Although the one war factory player had tank and I got wrecked by tank, so it wasn't even great that I opened bikes against him. Interesting that he hasn't made any more bikes yet, and why he went straight into lasers. I don't know how I feel about this. We're definitely gonna make more lasers. No one, no one switches into lasers and then makes one laser. I need to block this laser from getting into my buggy. Oh wow, it's so many lasers! Oh my god, this is actually really bad for me. This is way too many lasers. I'm gonna have to boost this buggy. Go, boosty buggy! Pew, 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 pew. Here it comes, boys. The flips. Yes, the sweet flippings. Man, there's a lot of lasers. I actually said at the start of the challenge I was really worried about someone who just made basically lasers only. Because my deck has no efficient answer to lasers. So yeah, the fact this guy's making only lasers and then like the occasional bite is a really big problem. That's actually really, really good against my deck. I'm gonna go catch it, but I'm not even sure that it's gonna be better than the buggy. Stealth tank, come on, man, leave me alone. Yeah, this isn't this isn't looking good. The lasers are just way too efficient against my deck. Is the problem? Right, nice, we got the self tank. Ooh. Oh, it's not looking great. Need to go shades. Maybe if I boost the cat ship, I can get the cloud in time. Yes, goodbye, sweet bike squadron. Haha! <laughs> You underestimated the mighty catalyst gunship, my dude. You got him. Mission accomplished. Alright, we already played this guy once. I don't remember what it was he did, though. But he probably has a better idea of what our deck looks like now, which is unfortunate. Right, he opened. Oh, this is the guy who beat us with tank on first missile, I remember. Okay, so we just want to spam a ton of bikes early game. He's probably just going to go straight into tank, I think. Now, my experience of playing this matchup from both sides, well, from mostly from the tank side, is that an early tank doesn't beat infinity bikes. Like, if you just make infinite bikes early on, one tank just doesn't cut it. Yeah, and that appears to be the case. Like it's just it's the, the first tank comes out a little bit too late to deal with enough to deal with the bike spam. Alright, cool. But yeah, we'll just keep making bikes for now. He'll probably have to go lasers. Yep, there we go. Mm. Don't love seeing double laser here. I think I'll have to let this two-man bike squad die. And then I want to go into air, because I'm, I'm going to need shades against his tanks, I think. Or I guess we might as well catch it. Man, these laser spam is way too strong against my deck. 
I knew this was going to be the issue going in. Every time you play a deck with no infantry, laser spam is always the biggest problem. Unless you you have to have like Razorback or um, Razorback or Ken Buggy, something that really annihilates lasers. Something that like really properly shuts down huge numbers of lasers. Get the shade. Yeah, this is rough. Because the tank takes out the buggies too efficiently. And he has the stealth tank now as well. Yeah, this is really difficult. Laser is just so good. Laser is such a good unit if you don't have infantry. It's going after my harvester as well. I can't stop that. Don't really have a great answer to the tank right now. Yeah, this one, we're going to lose. This is, well, this is one of the things I hate about playing these events, is you play against the same people a lot. And, like, he now knows our deck, so he knows we suck versus laser. So we managed to win one game because he didn't know what we were doing. And we managed to sneak a win on him. Now he knows exactly what our deck is. So he's just playing perfectly against, the, against our strategy. Because he's seen the deck already. Which makes it so much easier to know what to do. Which is the problem, one of the big problems with playing events against the same people. Alright, I guess we're all in on these shades now. Oh, come back here, Shade. Kill this. Get the buggy over here. Go, 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 go. Fire the missile, fire the missile, fire the missile. Fire the missile! Fire the missile! Yes, I'm the greatest! Except for Agent and Alicia, they're both better than me. But other than them... Objective complete. Greetings, my child. I think you should play Volumes deck. One of my most trusted commanders. In positive, it consists of militants, lasers, bikes, chuggy tick, phantom, and of course, yours true. Okay. <laughs> Attack bike ready to rumble. Up against general. Pretty sure this guy's playing tech. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Oh, lasers! Come on, man, leave me alone. He's definitely got two harvesters as well. I need to block out these lasers from getting to my buggy. I can't let him QV1 me. I need to keep the missile charging because he's definitely going to have tech units. Alright, let's get some shade. Shade action. Oh, Inferno? Oh, okay. He's playing Inferno, it's not shade. That's probably okay for me, honestly. I have this Phantom. Just need to get it out. It's very expensive, though. Mm. The whole deck is just so oh, so expensive, is, is a really big issue. Yeah, now we got a Phantom Mirrors. Which I'm not that hyped about. Alright, well. Let's chip this Phantom down. Here comes an Inferno, which isn't going to be that good. I used the Shade to block his Phantom. Alright, wow, we actually won that game super easily. That was way easier than I expected. All right, unfortunately, BJQ again. And I think he was, uh, he was the, the closest we've come to losing a game. So he knows what he's doing. He knows how to, he knows how to fight this, uh, this deck. I went buggy opening this time because I was almost certain he was going to go laser opening. But see, this is the problem, right? He has two lasers already and now I can't push in anymore. Like, just, just laser spam is really hard to- Oh no 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 buggy no! Oh! Alright, I think we might have just lost the game honestly. Just laser spam is actually really hard to beat with this deck. Alright, we've got to push him with the buggies before he tech switches. If he makes only lasers, we can win. But it's when he switches into like, a bike to support his lasers, that's when we're in trouble. Yeah, 
Okay, well, yeah, I think he's probably listening to the stream as well. Because he's in my chat talking to me. So I probably should stop giving tips. Uh, he should make only militants for the rest of the game. Yes, only militants would do really well here. I would really struggle against mass militants. Alright, nice. So we took first missile. We got mad buggy spam now. Uh oh, there's a stealth tank. That's kind of annoying. Stealth tank is kind of overpriced for what it does in this matchup, I think. Because it's only really going to kill like 30 cost units. And it costs 100. So I can just throw bikes at it over and over and over. And it'll probably not kill as much as it costs. Hoping to get the stealth tank um, to go on the pad so I can get some shots on it. Go air, try and get a shade for this stealth tank, because then we can stealthy stealth. I actually have no way to detect it either. The only way for me to detect it is actually to drive into it and have it force it to shoot. Ah, oh, go buggy, go! Oh, how are you so late, buggy? I boosted you as well. Man, I am actually pretty salty about that one. I really thought that buggy was going to get there in time. I'm going to try and wait for this shade to stealth so I can get the EMP. Alright, just going to give it a second because sometimes the stealth is a bit sketchy. Nice, nice. You see how powerful that EMP was? Uh oh, Phantom. Phantom also pretty expensive, so I'm just going to chuck bikes at it and hope it dies. Yes! Goodbye, sweet Phantom. Ah, I can't move my cat ship for some reason. Ah, need units. I need units now. I am very pop-capped on things that can't fight uh, lasers, so I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, boosted cat ship did a really good job, though. All right, cat ship and buggy, you are my last hope. No, 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 run away. Oh, yes, we did it. We won. Oh, that was super close. That was super close. Wow, tough game. Forfeit. All right, same guy again. Third time's a charm. Let's see if he can get me this time. Man, I guess I go buggy first. Hope he hasn't hope he hasn't switched to bike first and debated me. Okay, he's still laser first, that's good. I need to make sure he has two laser before I commit to second buggy. Yeah, oh, there's two laser. Now do I want to stall or charge? I actually don't know. Alright, if he's gonna give me a chance to go in 2v1. Shouldn't have gone third but buggy. He's gonna bikes now. Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's finish up the lasers. Let's get two buggies to shoot his bikes and see if that works. I think this will work. Yeah, the buggies are doing okay. Nice. Buggy OP, my dudes. Buggy OP. You heard it here first. Alright, we want to try and get Shade online. As quickly as possible. That's kind of like our... Uh, What's the word? You know, thing that is really good against his deck. <laughs> trump card. That's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, our trump card is the shades. The shades are definitely the best thing against him. And of course the buggy, because the buggy's just insane. Buggy and a gun, let's go. Let's see if I can EMP these guys. No, I missed it. Rip. I'll, I'll fire a volley at the, at the lasers. I think that's okay. No, no, ah! Oh. I thought he was going to shoot my buggy. Run, 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 run! Don't get hit by the stealth tank! I hope this boosted buggy wins, but it's pretty low hit points, so I'm not sure it will. Nice. Oh yeah, here we go, boys. Ten and oh. 
with the flash challenge. Fastest units only. <laughs> that was a tough one. That was a tough one. But there you go, guys. I think this is... I'm trying to think. The best deck. The best deck we did on the speedy challenges was the one where I got to play Mohawks and Razorbacks. Because I just played Mohawk Razorback every game. Um, but this this deck was decent-ish. Of course, the issue is uh, you don't have any infantry, but you could play you could play Seth with this deck technically and still be playing only fastest units. And with that, we have reached one million credits. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed my one million credits. And I'll see you next time.